Hi guys and welcome to today's video. In this video we'll look at an issue with the VirtualBox graphics controllers and some Linux distributions. Uh, so to give an ov overview of this issue, uh, this is when we're using the VBox VGA graphics controller and if you try and start a virtual machine using this graphics controller uh, you'll be presented with a blank screen um, after the first Oracle message uh, and you won't be able to get any further than this screen. Uh, so if you are faced with this issue, this is just one way you can sort of get around this. Uh, so if you power off that virtual machine and then change this to the VMS VGA graphics controller. Um, and what you also want to do is jot down your display settings. So we're going to go to display settings, scroll down to advanced display settings and just jot down your desktop resolution and your refresh rate. So, so I'll start this virtual machine and go to part 2. So part 2 will be on the VM once it is booted up using the VMS VGA graphics controller and how to make it fit to the screen. And as you can see I've already set the resolution on this VM using Xrander so you can see the video in the full screen. Uh, so firstly if you're using Arch or Manjaro like in this video you can use the Arch wiki on Xrander uh, for reference if you have any problems. Uh, I would recommend reading through the page first to get a better understanding on how exactly XRANDA works. Uh, so if you go to the page uh, and then go to troubleshooting, uh, and this will be the section that we'll be using. Um, so if you do want to have a look at this page first, please pause the video, have a run through of it uh, to get a bit of a bit of an understanding uh, on how to use it. Uh, worth noting that in these parts here, where they've got like VGA one and HDMI etc. Uh, these are just the output examples and I'll show you how to get that in the video. So I'm going to minimize that and uh, open up Kate where I've got some notes here uh, just that the example uh, commands that will run and how to construct these. Uh, so if you open up a console and run Xranda uh, on its own uh, this is how we'll see the list of resolutions that are preset uh, also with their refresh rate. If your resolution is like mine, I have a 1920 over 1080 and it's not listed, then we'll need to create this. And it's worth noting that if your resolution is here, just check the refresh rate is also the same as what you're after. Uh, if not, then follow this to create it. Uh, firstly, take the output we need and note this down as we'll do need, we will need this later on. So this will be this one here. And note that down in your notes there. Uh, so let's go ahead and run CVT with our resolution and refresh rate so we do CVT over 920 over 1080 and 60 refresh rate and this is the output that we'll get here uh, so we need to copy everything from this from the first quotation mark uh, after mode line to the end and then we we'll run this with the new mode parameter so I've already done this at the top here uh, so you run these with xrunda dash dash new mode and then everything from this quotation mark to the end uh, you would do that like so secondly with the next command which is xranda dash dash add mode uh, you will then use the output device which would the virtual one which we got earlier uh, which is located just here uh, and then using the uh, resolution size from this one and then popping that at the end of that line so thirdly I'll uh, we'll use the uh, dash dash output parameter. Uh, now this will sort of test the output just to make sure it's the correct size you've made, or if you need to make it smaller or larger. So if I take this line here, this will uh, output a ten a nine twenty by ten eighty uh, resolution, and as you see, nothing will happen there. Uh, so if I test this with a smaller one, uh, let's say for example. 1024 by 768 uh, and then put that in there as you can see it goes much smaller and then jumps back to, to normal uh, and use this to you know find the correct one that you do need because um, you can be you can just put anything in there you can you can make them smaller larger uh, just to make it fully fit to the screen um, so once you've done that and you've tested the output that you need um, and we'll create the file we now need to, for a permanent entry for a resolution. So uh, the file that we'll be creating uh, is this file here, and we need to create this file because this already doesn't exist. Uh, so we actually need to create this some fresh. Uh, and we need to get a layout for this file, which is this. Now I got this from the ArchWiki page 
uh, below the troubleshooting section uh, and it's just here so I'd recommend just taking this part here uh, put it into your notes so for example for this I'm using I'm going to use Kate uh, and modify this uh, as so so the first one I need to change is the identifier uh, the identifier is the output device that we located earlier uh, so for me it was the virtual one which was here the mode line uh, is everything after we did new mode earlier so from this quotation mark to the end uh, and then pop that the same there uh, now the last one is the preferred mode uh, which is the resolution and refresh rate that we got from this section here so these three parts after we change this you would take this and enter it into a file so you would take this line here and I'll put this in the description so you just copy that and paste it to make it easier so, so I've already made this file so I'm going to cut this and enter it there so this is how it should look uh, in that file uh, and once you've created that file test the reboot of the server uh, just to make sure that it does work first time. Uh, if you have any problems, you know, read over the ArchWiki page on XRanda, just check that you've done everything uh, in order. Uh, just make sure that the uh, resolution you have here, you know, is there still there on a reboot. Um, but there is many forums out there on this sort of uh, this problem uh, which can help you out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, please do like and subscribe to the video, and have a good day.